what I'm doing. I'm cleaning the plate. I've wiped down the hood. I'm going to wipe down the area underneath the plate and save the paper towel for when I'm done cutting up the plant. Here's uh, one of our famous yellow iris. It's really one of the easiest plants to grow in tissue culture, so we use it for teaching. Spray the neck of the bottle. Hopefully you can still see around my hand. There we go. So open the bottle. Pull out the plant. Put that away. Then I get my tool, shake off the alcohol and begin by trimming off some of this root bunch. See that mess we got there? Just gonna sort of split it down the middle. Oh, and also to make it easy, I'm just gonna trim these tops so they stay out of the way. Call this giving it a haircut. You can see the places where the plants come together. See that? Use the natural splits. Little yellow leaves because the plant got too old in culture. It outgrew its nutrients. pH probably changed a couple of points towards acidic because the plants were exchanging nutrients. Another reason I like iris they can grow in wet and acidic environments. Okay, there's my first plant. I set it to the right side of the plate with the top pointed out because I'm right-handed. And then I'm going to go ahead and just split these guys. One, two, and three. I could either go ahead and plant those in containers now or finish this up this is pretty easy, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish it. See why it's good to have sharp blades? goes back in the alcohol. I'm going to go ahead and dip my forceps in alcohol too. And now we're going to, I'm going to plant these. Here's a clean vessel just made. Though, you know, I save these for up to like a month at a time. Plunk. Number one goes in. And number two. Easy. Snap the lid down. That's why the flip top vessels are so cool. See, they're just about quarter quarter inch in, you know, enough to hold it in place. It's not going anywhere. And here's an experiment I'm doing. This is rock wool, and I've dribbled some of the nutrient solution over it, cut it up into small squares. I'm doing this because I'm friends with the Grodan people, and I really like the Grodan material. So, I'll just stick that down in there. You can see it's got some moisture in it. Screw the lid shut almost all the way down, back a little bit so it still breathes. All of these vessels still breathe air. I just seal them before I use them to make sure they stay clean. Same thing. There we go, right down in there. Easy. Screw that lid down. Let's do one more of those. Here I'm tilting out the little bit of condensation. It's clean, so I spill it on the plate. All done.
tool goes in the alcohol. And now I'm going to just wipe off the plate in the trash can, which you can't see, using my leftover paper towel. And now I'm all ready to do this again.